There was a PS1 game that was that for me. It was the Evil Dead Hail to the King. I guess it's supposed to be a bad game, but when I played it, I fucking loved it. Is that where Big Mama is? Where did he just go? Oh. Sometimes you just surpass bad parts in first try. Yeah, that's true too. Bless you, thank you. And momentum is fun. As you can see, we are playing Metal Gear Solid 4. Very good game. But, uh... Yeah. You just gotta prepare for a long... A long watch. Look out! Searchlight! Find what? something nearby to hide behind. Stay out of the light. someone redeem points to auto get their character no you can change what you want your character to be or like i don't know if there's a way to random it every time you join but you can just pick what you want it to be out of a bunch of different things oh shit dude i lost him he back how though? I'm Squirtle. Uh, go to that link. And you can pick from a bunch of different characters. Dude, who knew Snake knew how to twerk? Oh, wait a minute. Can you do this? Yeah, you still can. He wouldn't go around PMC guards, but this he's fine with. Am I supposed to stop them from arresting him? Move along. March. Snake, he's about to be hauled off by the PMCs. I missed. Huh? Damn it. There we go. And he's just not gonna notice, huh? He's just gonna be perfectly fine about what happened. Where's he going? Oh my god. What? I don't understand what's that. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. And now he questions it. Dude, the AI in this game is so dumb. I swear to God, if he turns and comes up here. Don't you fucking turn around. Then he's just running for some reason. 
Oh, wait. Oil, who are you picking? Where'd he go? He's still Squirtle. He's, there's a lot to go through. He's probably picking. Think. Changed his outfit. I'm playing the, I'm I'm literally witnessing all of it, Otacon. What'd you pick, Android 18? away I'm playing to hunt the crazy going Can't tell if <laughs> the sirens I'm hearing are in game. It's got to be him because he doesn't have a weapon, right? Turn around and look. This is riveting gameplay. this way perfect now he's walking with some determination I don't think I've ever seen a less determined person walking anywhere. Oh my god. Why? Looks Why like do you need to walk so slow? Situations. Watch out for them, Snake. Scotty's back, daddy. Hey, Scotty. They're honking at him. Come 
Come on! Oh shit. I have no idea where he went. Oh good, he's still just lackadaisically walking over that way. They're trying to fuck me. Use the bonks. Every time I use the bonks, it gets me killed. No, please tell me I don't have to restart the whole thing because he fucking saw me. Who's that? Nobody. Okay. Oh, he literally saw us and we somersaulted in front of him. And he's like, no, no, you're cool. Stop coming back this way. Thought this was a movie, I know. Very easy to make that mistake. Look at my jacket's getting dirty. I know what that noise was. His outfit's back here, isn't it? No? What was that noise? Oh, God! Dude, that riveting game playing? Only for it now? To be another cutscene. Woo! Dude, it's a good story, but fuck me, do they like telling it. <laughs> I got chips and beer, baby. <laughs> what? How is he right there and stripped? Who's there? I'm here to see Big Mama. Is this the guy? What do you think? I didn't hear him coming at all. He's gotta be the one. Well, I'm coming, all right. Yeah, but look at him. He's ancient. <laughs> Shit. Oh shit, smell that ass. A cool cutscene. Very impressive CQC snake. And it's her. It's mommy. No doubt about it. He is the legendary soldier. Call me Mama. Big Mama. It's actually Eve. Or Eva. 
humming. Yeah, have you ever played Snake Eater? There's um a character who like kind of plays like a double agent, triple agent, some shit. Her character's name is Eva. Or e I don't remember if Eva or Eve. But you're technically not supposed to know that until later in the story, but that's who this character is. It was you, not I, who was created from the rib of man. CQC stands for close quarters lie. combat? It does, yeah. Boobies! I am your mother. What? What? I'm older than you? You can't grow a human being in a test tube. Not even a clone. You need a woman's body to give it life. You mean... a surrogate mother? That's an awfully cold way to put it. I am your mother. I gave Okay, I took that course. Couldn't walk right for two weeks. Fucking brutal. Probably very, like, handy to know stuff, though, for it. Or Forbidden fruit. Appropriate. See how they keep making references to like the Adam and Eve? Because those were their code names in Snake Eater. Adam was Ocelot, Eve was this chick. Follow me. I'll explain everything. Look at that ass! Shit! Dude, I can't. Not look at it. The man who wants me dead is liquid. Your twin. I'm doing a field sobriety test you for some reason. Know him, but I know him better. He was once Ocelot, but liquid has taken control of his soul. And now he's locked in a bitter struggle with Zero. 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 The founder of the Patriots. Founder. <laughs> when did this happen? Forty years ago. During the Cold War, when the United States and the Soviet Union were still at arms. It was in that chaotic era that the Patriots were born. And I played my part. Well, the answer of course was I can take quite the ass beating and still keep fighting. <laughs> I was one of you. Founding. Yeah, you probably have to take it for longer than two weeks to pick up stuff. Zero created the Patriots to manage and control the American state. That control endured long after the Cold War ended. The organization became an empty shell, continuing to function through AIs. Those AIs are responsible for the creation of the war economy, and they gave rise to the Sons of the Patriot system. I am partly to blame. I bear some of the guilt for creating the organization. It was right after I first met your father. Big Boss. Yep. Back in 1964, I was ordered to take part in a CIA op called Operation Snake Eater, which concerned... Oh my god. Snake. Naked Snake. That was his code name at the time. A name he would give to you. His son. The commander of this mission was a man called Zero. The head of Special Forces Unit Fox. Back then, I was working as a double agent for the Turner Hicks. Yep. My objective was to secure the location... The Philosopher's of Legacy. Legacy. A massive cache of hidden wealth. And report it to Beijing. I was to acquire a microfilm showing... See, I like this lore because it references shit I know. ...funds amassed by the Allied powers during World War II. But I failed in my mission and was expelled from China. I took the apple from the snake and was cast out of Eden. Uh, g -g -g references. Time, I ended up in Hanoi. That's where I met him again. It was around then that Zero used the massive funds contained in the Philosopher's Legacy to start a new organization, the Patriots, which would carry out the final wishes of a certain legendary hero. 
The initial membership consisted of Big Boss, Sigint, Paramedic, and their commander, Zero. Oh, and there was one more who we mustn't forget. Ooh, Sugar Thunder Daddy. Soviet Union to support the group as an informant. Ocelot, who is now liquid. They are trying to clear up so much confusion in this cutscene. Went to America and joined their organization. Zero's goal was to achieve a unity of thought and awareness. He believed that was what the boss wanted, and the rest of the Patriots followed his lead. Mind you, the boss, boss, not the big boss. The boss was a legendary hero yep. from the Second World War, known as the Mother of Special Forces. She had an almost overwhelming charisma about her. The CIA feared this. I want to so know why in the movie early. theater scene. Yeah, because the game. We're watching a movie. The world of the 21st century. The cutscenes in this game are obnoxiously long, so I wanted us to feel comfortable. By the boss's will. It was what drove us to create this organization, to be closer to that spirit. Zero decided that in order to lead the people, we needed a special kind of icon. So we turned Oh to my Bigfoot. god, Booty! What's going on, Booty? How are you? Her life than anyone else. It was Big Boss, the true heir to her legacy, who was best suited to play this role. Zero elevated Big Boss, the hero who saved the world, to the status of an idol. I'm gonna go say hi to Coop soon. Is Coop streaming? The truth behind Big Boss became riddled. Oh my God, Coop is streaming. Representation and outright No idea. Zero disseminated these stories among. Dude, everybody go watch Coop's. Gathered the rich and powerful. We're just watching a movie here. We don't gotta do shit. Every era needs its symbols to control the people. Whether it be the stars and stripes, or the hammer and sickle. Hard to choose between two sexy streamer? Nope, not hard. Pick him. As the times and currents of politics changed, so too did Zero. Eventually, he became a prisoner of his own lust for power, sparking friction between him and Big Boss. Who resented playing the this is so long with big boss drifting away zero realized he would need oh shit i'm in the wrong stream but a happy little accident damn cold as shit and so zero secretly embarked it's okay booty project les enfants terribles its goal was to create a clone of big boss the ultimate soldier the project was led by dr clark known at the time as paramedic after dozens of failures they finally miraculously succeeded in producing a fertilized egg the egg used in the successful in vitro fertilization came from dr clark's assistant a healthy japanese boy blood from the east blood give birth to big boss I have a link for you if you want us i asked to serve as the surrogate mother and I was more than happy to carry him. If you want it, hit me with it. I loved him. All right, Otis, sorry, Booty stole me for Coops. That's cool. I do the big lurk. Birth to two big bosses, me and Liquid. It didn't matter who he was. I have a link for you too. Is it a sausage link? Related your DNA. You were born the same way as any other normal child, from your mother's womb. But les enfants terribles proved to be the final straw for Zero and Big Boss. Determined to oppose Zero and his plans, Big Boss broke away from the Patriots. He left the States, created his own mercenary company, and drifted around the world. I'm sorry. Your father never wanted you. Your Damn! Same! I know that pain! After Big Boss left, Zero really lost control. What Zero wanted was an orderly world, one governed by rules. His fortune grew through countless wars, and his words influenced decision making all the way up to the Oval Office. As the world This is the link I wanted to share with you. Ah, oh, look at that. The internet. Oh, is that a bastard's emote? That's cool. The Patriots power grew How's Carnivore going? It's good. Going about the same as it has been. In time, 
they began to dictate the fate of entire nations from the shadows. <sighs> and before we knew it, the Patriots, the proud police of the world, started bringing an entire planet under their control. Derp. Oh my god. How long was that fucking... Oh, that's, I guess it wasn't that long, because we were doing, um, the sneaky bit. Oh, fuck. Still going. Their intentions were fair, but their execution was flawed. Yeah, huh? Go on. Zero developed weapons, amassed armies, used information for extortion, all in order to gain more wealth. He was obsessed with controlling awareness on the inside from the outside. I cannot imagine. That's what the boss would have. How's life been treating you? Eh, it's the been okay. Um, when I came back from conference, the landlords to my house like came to me on a Saturday, and they're like, "Hey, just let you know, we're putting the house on the market or the so plot on the market, the so you guys are gonna need to find some place else to live. We're putting it on the market Monday." So they gave us two days. Granted, they didn't give us two days to get out because they still have to sell it and everything. But it was just very, like, quick. Like, hey, you got to go. So that's the bad news. The good news is I might be buying a house now. Because, like, renting is just stupid. Like, renting anywhere is ridiculous. You could get, like, a piece of shit house and it's still, like, fucking... At a minimum, eleven to twelve hundred dollars, at least where I am. So it just makes more sense to buy a house. Boobies. It all started with a tiny. Like who painted that? And grew into a great rift. There was nothing left. Boss's noble Renting is not double, or is double if not triple a mortgage the payment. It's so stupid. To destroy one another. Big Boss returned to the US So, uh, I didn't get to tell Coops yet, but I might need his help moving whenever that happens. In Outer Heaven, and then Zanzibar Land, Big Boss plotted coup d'etat against Zero. But you, Solace, his own clone, foiled his efforts both times. I like that it Big let me save just boss. to make me sit through another cutscene. Were left near death. Zero recovered their bodies. Frank Yeager's entire body was reconstructed through surgery, and he was reborn as the cyborg mm. ninja. Big boss, now a vegetable. Yeah, of course you helped us so much. Oh well, that's Zero, not. Even in death. I, mean, I was just happy to Zero, do it. More than anyone else. Dude, like moving, if you gotta do it by yourself, sucks. No, the truth is, for Zero, he was an irreplaceable friend. After Big Boss's betrayal, Zero could no longer believe in something so uncertain as life. He lost his belief in everything nations, organizations, individuals. Zero so there's no way you plan it. Yeah, I mean, I'm still looking for places right now, but yeah, I found one. Pretty close to where I live now, actually. That act, it seems almost perfect, which means there's probably something wrong with it. So we gotta look into that. He built four AIs: GW, TJ, AL, and TR, as sort of a digital Mount Rushmore, and one core artificial intelligence to unite them. John Doe. You named the AI John Doe. Same GW we destroyed five years ago. The same. Ever since GW was cut off, JD and the other three AIs have controlled all information on every aspect of global society. Dear friend, we'd be happy. Oh, shucks. Love you guys. The war economy is no exception. In the shadow of the system and its complete control over the world, Big Boss isn't allowed to live or die. He's trapped for eternity in a brain-dead prison. To Original John Doe? Friend, yeah. To ensure his rule over the world, Zero transformed Big Boss into an icon, neither living nor dead. Sounds almost like a religion. Naturally, 
Ocelot and I planned to free him from Zero's prison. We enlisted Naomi Hunter, an authority in the field of nanomachine research, into our organization. And we used Frank Yeager to kill Dr. Clark. Ocelot tortured the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, also known as Sidney, to death, and made sure. it look like an accident. The Shadow Moses incident. Shadow Moses. With paramedic and Sidney to pay, Zero was the only one. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Dando. I lost Ocelot. <laughs> Ocelot wasn't fighting for the Pentagon or the Russians, and certainly not for Zero. He was fighting for Big Boss. He idolized him. When Ocelot grafted Liquid's right arm to his own, his body was taken over by Liquid's thoughts and spirit. Does that make sense? He may be Ocelot in physical form, but his mind is Liquid's. I was the last one. And then someone appeared to help me. Raiden. It was when I met him that I finally discovered the location of Big Boss. It was in the data he obtained from GW. This cutscene's been going on so long! Together, he and I retrieved Big Boss. But Big Boss was still asleep, as Zero had left him. Okay. Why did Zero keep him alive? People need heroes. Zero wanted to create a messiah. A legend. That would be my big. Oh my god, it's lukewarm. Can't. Luke, it's your favorite part. We're watching like the tail end of a 30 minute cutscene. I'll take you to meet him. This is his pyx, his holy ark. So this is Big Boss's body? Oh shit. His body is alive, but his consciousness is locked away by nano machines. Story better have another nap. <laughs> really brain dead. You having a good day so far, Kent? We can't allow Liquid to inherit the same sins that corrupted Zero. Manipulating people's minds for the sake of his own ego. What happened? She's gone. She's not in the Nomad anymore. When? Less than an hour ago. She disappeared right after she and Sonny got back from Dr. Madnar's place. Why were you watching her? I, uh, I was distracted I by the pussy. Oh, fuck, my seat. Oh, fuck. You think she went back to Liquid? <sighs> what about Bryden? Good news on that. What the fuck? managed to get our hands on a dialysis machine and set up an ICU. We just started him on dialysis and treatment for his wounds. Yeah, no worries there. Sonny's taken over for Naomi. But his treatment's probably gonna take 48 hours. Until then, Raiden can't move. Why would Snake see that and not react to that at all? Hey you! Come here! Oh god, Move. fuck these things. <laughs> the second one didn't even hit.
get it because she was nasty with that thing. Scarabs. Unmanned scouts. They found us. We're moving out. Snake, the PMCs are converging on your location. Damn it! They're sending in Gecko! They'll be on you in less than five minutes! Oh shit. Yes, ma'am. We'll escape through the I just got carried away looking at Cotton Eye Joe. Ready. Why are there yes, Cotton Eye Joe memes? Snake, over here. We've got decoy vans set to draw some of our pursuers away. The motorcycle. Uh, oh. It's cool that it's actually a triumph. Means of everything. I mean, I guess, but like Cotton Eye Joe, All like what? Children were orphans. They work in arms factories, and when they grow up, they want to join a PMC. They seek revenge on other companies, PMCs that killed their parents, and use their earnings to support their younger siblings. There are countless child soldiers like these in the PMCs. Nowadays. Anyone with a computer can get combat. Some would say my Jane Carter yeah, Otis means. <laughs> love are distributed for free. Maybe. Of course, it's all just virtual training. It's so easy for them to get absorbed by these war games. Yeah, it is. And before they know it, they're in the PMCs holding real guns. These kids is this their whole like? In proxy wars that have nothing to do with video games are bad for kids. They think it's cool to fight like this. We still need that fat Otis of sweet they tits. You're right. We do. Easy. They don't need a reason to fight. After all, for them, it's only a game. Zero is the cause of all this. Defeating Liquid won't Cotton Eye Joe might mean wasted on moonshine. Unless we stop the that makes sense. System, the cycle will go unbroken. Oh yes, mommy. Hold on to it. It's your mother. Don't make it weird. She's making it weird. With so many wars being waged, oil and biofuel have become as precious as diamonds. It's been a while since I went out for a I was about to make it weird to you said that. Don't make it weird. Actually, his mom. <laughs> I only get off my bike when I fall in love. And then I get off. Big mama. <laughs> Big mom. Call me Eva. Eva, okay. Mom, you say? Oh, now if it was Coop's mom? You can make it as weird as you want. Butters out. Are we playing the game? We might actually be playing the game. Boss's body out of enemy hands, no matter what. Get the body safely to the canal escape point. Here, one of our buddies' moms at work is hot. We were all just doing stuff looking at photos of her teasing her buddy. He was getting so upset. Dude, it's gotta be rough to have a hot mom.
you dead? What happened? How's the game? We just started playing it after like 45 minutes. So now we're having fun again instead of just watching a movie. Hot moms need love too. They do. But it's gotta suck to have a hot mom. What the hell are you doing, Smith? What do you mean? Commander, yeah, 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 yeah. Why? What's up? Did you just do him like rune level one? I gotta do him. Oh my god. Okay, so I, I know I can think of they're one of two people. Is it the commander who summons the two dudes with him, or the commander who like? is in the blood pool thing out in the open and was also a piece of shit. Two dudes in the show, guys, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I can't. That fight sucks. And Just parry shit, dude. That fight is gonna suck. Good on you. I just killed our dude. I just lit him up like a goddamn Christmas tree. Sorry, did they just die in one shot with a P90? Because that is just not how that works. I think I'm dead. I struggled out on a first playthrough level. Dude, I know! In preparation of that fight, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any fight made me more mad than Millennia. That fight made me so fucking mad. Yeah, what is time for a bit? Still never even did it. Welcome back, Thunder Dead, Do 
does one of the parents usually say? No, go spend time with the other one. He's sexier than I am. I don't think they do. Level 120, I used spirit summons. It was raging hard. Yeah. I think I was using uh, the Black Assassin Tish. I've got bad news. When she was busted. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. Need help in front. Good at parrying for millennia. Three fucking parries for one Rupun. I know. Dude, that fight was so dumb. I'm so glad that I was able to teabag the statue of millennia. Because I really felt like I won because of that. His arms go. So many of them. Oh, fuck. Snake behind us. God damn it. Thick. Oh, fuck. There it is. How did that not get chased? Here, 
lucky as fuck he did not get crushed by the car. I'm gonna need you to make a coffee, set your alarm to right now, and wake the fuck up. You must finish the game to die on stream. Yeah, that's not happening. Dude, we got like 14 hours of movies Come left. Come on. Stay with me. Eva, I need you. Eva. Huh? Is that you? Say. Never done. The grandma titties revive you. My mama. Oh yeah, I forgot she had the same sort of injury. Where's my cinema? Oh fuck, you're right. There. My. Yes, sir. Shit, I made it weird. In front seat. You can sit wherever you like. Don't pee on the floor again. The children. He's holding his ass. He bruised his left cheek. He's dead. Why were you so close with the driver? People popcorn. Oh my god. She'll be coming to search the van. At first she kind of looked like the I'll chicken, the chick from Silent Let's Hill too. Keep watch. Oh, kinda, yeah. I'll contact the children. I can see that. Here. James, I don't know if I actually ever said hi when you came here like hours ago, but. Oh, hi. I hope you're doing good. Come back in one piece. Oh, I'll come. I will. Uh, I mean, me. what? Why is he having those flashbacks, though? You okay, the assault rifle was good enough, I think. Are we playing? Nope, still cuts in. Dude, when Fluff did his, like, series playthrough of this, because I'm pretty sure he did do a series playthrough of Metal Gear. Yeah, he did. Like, what did he do when he got to this game, when he got to the cutscenes? I just want to blow my brains out. They're good cutscenes, but fuck me, they last so long. Naps. Oh, was that during his 24-hour streams? He would just take a nap for, like, four hours, and then the cutscene would end? <laughs> Oh, now is not a good time to stroke out. Where does God go? Oh, there it is. Exactly why he's stroking the worst possible time. Give me your anger, snake. Let me boil to the surface. Let your fury flow freely. Anger begets anger. Come on, show me your rage. How are we still? Come on. Let me fight. Keep it down in front.
got one. Music. Damn it. Okay, hold on. I don't want to use all my fucking ammo on this. Uh, D90 is not gonna cut it. Yeah, I could try that. Sure. Cut scene. What is this one? <laughs> Playboy! Customize it. Thirty-five thousand? Holy shit! That was thirty thousand, I just noticed. Oh, this is the best. You stop it. How many more of these do I have to shoot out of the sky? Okay, maybe this gun is super OP. Holy fuck. What? Uh, am I? Who? What? This fight is confusing me a little bit. <laughs> 